tonight on the Peter Collins appeal. Um, prepared a little information for you there as to the two requests that Mr. Collins has. One is that an adjustment be made to the 2006 value of the dwelling. Um, my recommendation is 35 percent and the taxpayer requests 20 percent. Since preparing this information for you, I've received a letter from Brian Shaw stating that the construction upon their review was at 20% completion. So I will retract my 35 and I would agree to the 20%. The second thing that the taxpayer is requesting is a release of all the late listing penalties that were computed in the discovery. Um, I cannot recommend that. Um, I'm bound by statute to apply that but the statute does allow you to um, make adjustment as you see fit under discovery, which is the statute 105.312. Uh, that's the two items that um, Mr. Collins is requesting. I have received um, payment, partial payment from Mr. Collins um, since your information was gotten together for you, and he has uh, made payment based on um, what he considers 20% completion to be. It varies about $545 from what if we put in the house at 20% into our camera um, system. So he has paid um, a total of $27,769.13. So tonight, um, I need a, I guess a vote on the percentage of completion and then um, some direction on what to do about the penalties. Let's take care of the adjustment first. Uh, I need a motion from the board uh, on adjusting the uh, from 35 percent to 20 percent. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I'll make it motion. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. All the discussion. Not all favor the motion. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Now the second part. You, you actually presented us a case history of where this had, uh, a case similar to this had been done last year or? And in, yes, sir, in Henderson County. Um, very similar case where the um, tax collector had computed the discovery bill as required by statute. The property owner appealed to the property tax commission and the property tax commission upheld the tax collector's computation of those taxes based on the fact that the property owner did not list um, the fact that the house was under construction. Um, so that falls back to statute um, as far as he was required to list. That getting the building permit does not satisfy the requirement to list improvements to your property. In, in your time in the tax office, do you ever remember a time that the board has, has not excuse the penalties or, or, or taken the penalties off? Not that I recall, and I, I pulled up a case from last year, which was the same situation. It was Rodriguez um, property in Piney Creek. Um, they also requested the release of the penalties, uh, late listing penalty, and the board denied that request. However, the board did give them um, uh, payment terms, or it did not have to be all paid at one time. They allowed them to make payments on it but interest does still accrue, but they did allow that, um, some payment terms on that. Does the, in your opinion, does this impact our position on penalties in the future? If we grant this one tonight, what makes this, what makes it, it is not being a case setting example that would be used down the road? In a true discovery, and under 105.312 is the only um, statute which allows the governing body to adjust penalties. Under cases of deferred, um, a rollback of an elderly exemption, that doesn't fall under this statute. That falls under another statute, and the governing body does not have the authority to adjust. That's interest. And this is talking about the lengthless penalty. Um, to my knowledge, we haven't done that, and um, I do think you would see an, an increase in appeals discoveries on a regular basis. Um, not necessarily missed houses, but um, business audits and things like that. It's for unlisted 
or under listed property value. That's what the discovery is for. And this person has a, an opportunity to appeal, as he is in that Henderson County case. He could, he, he could, depending upon what this board decides tonight, that could be appealed and adjudicated through Raleigh or through the state system. He could appeal to the property tax commission. Yes. Mr. Chairman, would you kindly allow me to address the board? If you can add something to what we're talking about. That's what I'm here for. Uh, in this, these situations all depend on the particular circumstances of the matter. So if you're talking about setting precedent, uh, you'd have, every, you should require everybody to make a clear uh, statement and explanation of all the facts and circumstances. And the facts and circumstances here are very strongly, I feel, in favor of the taxpayer. And that's been, I won't go into that. You've all read what he has to say about it. Uh, so what it boils down to is penalty. Penalty is the same thing as fine, isn't it? Uh, what do you know about uh, how, uh, what, what kind of misconduct here has earned uh, the county the right to fine this guy $12,000? What has he done? What has he done? And we've been over that. So uh, that's what I'd like to add to this discussion is that this is a penalty is punishment. Are you really willing to punish this guy for something that he has done here? And what uh, is that? Are you designed to do a certain technical act which normally is not done? I mean, you know, if, if the county wanted to, they could require me and you to list every year. Wouldn't that be great? That's the law. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> really, is it not true that the state sets these regulations? We don't set them necessarily. The word penalty is imposed by general statute. That's right. It's late listing penalty. And as going on right now, um, we have to run the ad that it's time to list had a gentleman in the office today who had been watching this going on, so he came in to make sure he listed his new construction. So, um, But we do have to run the advertisement um, about listing period and what is to be listed. Uh, you know, I'm aware that he was in Texas and he doesn't see those ads. So. Does, he, does he get uh, correspondence? I got a mail with, uh, in the mail the other day, something about listing any improvements or changes to the property. Does he get that or does his account? We're on a permanent listing system now. Um, I'm not sure when that started before I came. And not every property owner gets a listing form. Only those with personal property, business personal property, untagged vehicles, mobile homes, things like that. Not every property owner gets a listing form. So he, chances are he did not get one? Is that what he did? He did not get a listing form. So that's kind of where he felt like that that we, uh, we the tax office and the assessor might have made a mistake. Is that basically, or? I, I believe that um, the property owner felt like because he had gotten the required permits that he was covered, so to speak, as far as um, the tax assessment on his property. Um, typically that does flag us to go out and pick up construction. But I have to go by what? My advisor at the School of Government tells me as far as the statutes go, and they say that the failure to list um, is my reason for having to do the discovery and apply the uh, Donna, in terms of the 12000 whatever dollars it is, 12000 That he has paid? No, that the penalty is? It's 12784 now that's based on the 2006 being 100% complete. Now that amount would be adjusted when we adjusted his percentage completion for 2006. It would be adjusted down to the 2006 amount instead of 
of being 13377 would be 3608 So the actual penalty has been decreased? Yes, by roughly $4,000. Explain to me or all of us, do we have personal liability on, on this amount of money? Not on this. Under the other statute um, that she was referring to under present use value appeals that you normally see, if you were to waive those, yes, you would be. But on this particular statute, 105.312, you do not. You have the power to um, compromise, settle, or adjust. That was why I was going to point out right here in the statute. My personal feelings on this matter is I think the man is willing to pay the tax. Uh, I think he should pay interest on the amount and whatever interest we charge any taxpayer for not paying their tax for the last year or the year before. I don't think it should be pay paying 10 percent, 20 percent, 30 percent. May I have this, you, sir? Yes. You, if you notice, uh, he's already paid all that interest. Paid the tax. I talked to tax and the interest. Interest, not the penalty. Uh, is that now there's correct? no interest. There's on no, no interest, interest in that. In what? There's no in interest the in this paid. discovery. That oh. wouldn't start until tomorrow. Well, my question is this: yes. All right, for like last year, what would be the interest you were charging on a, uh, on the individual for not paying their taxes in 2000? 2% um, January the 5th and then three quarters of a percent um, the remaining months. So what does that total up for a 12? Does it come up to 10%? No. I mean that that to me is was fair would be fair. I mean I don't that's my personal feeling. So if he owed the tax in 2006 he should pay the same interest that, that uh, somebody else is on that. I, you know, as far as penalizing them as a penalty, I, I can't support that. I will not. Right. No, that's my first And clarify the interest one more time. It's two percent on January fifth when the bill becomes delinquent, and it's three fourths of one percent every month thereafter until that. But with that understanding, is is he being would there be a point that he would be charged interest? This is a 2011 tax bill, so interest would begin to accrue tonight, And but you can't accrue interest on anything that's under appeal. So his would not begin to accrue interest until after this appeal is settled, whether it's tonight or whether it's property tax. Well, if this board agrees to grant relief on the penalty, what does that do to his interest? Does it still have to pay the interest on the, on the outstanding taxes even though he's paid them. I mean, Mr. Chairman, I, I think we're getting terms. The, the penalty, everybody keeps referring to the penalty. I can only guess what the state lawmakers were trying to figure out. So that penalty is sort of taking into consideration, for right or wrong, I'm not defending it, what would have been interest over a period of time. See. Right now, if he were to just pay his taxes, he would pay no interest, no penalty. If you were to waive it, no penalty, no interest. So I think ultimately, if I understand Commissioner Roten correctly, what you're saying is you think that penalty is too high of an interest. Whether you want to call it penalty or interest, it's just too high. You would be more apt to reduce it down to be more equitable to what other people would actually pay the interest on. See, this is the state's version of interest because there is no interest from four years ago. It's a penalty, no interest. It, it's their version of penalties and interest. I don't know how else to explain it. I think we're getting the, the two confused is that if you were to relieve all penalties, there would be no interest paid, period. And, and unless, unless you were to remove the interest or remove the penalties, and then he still didn't pay after January or after the appeal. Correct. So the real question is, is should he pay, whether you want to call it a penalty or interest or however you want to call it, 
Should he pay anything on the 2006 amount, 2007 amount, above and beyond the tax? Whether you call it a penalty or interest or whatever you want to call it. Should the motion be stated as uh, forgiving the penalty or forgiving? How, how would it be properly phrased? Because what you're trying to accomplish. I, I don't think you can give, you can't call it interest. I, correct me if I'm wrong. They could not call something for 2006 interest. You would actually have to reduce the penalty down to match whatever you think a fair interest rate would be. You can't, right, there's no statutory ability for them to charge interest from 2006. Correct. It's right. a penalty. I think my direction from the board would have to be what dollar amount of this $12,000 penalty do you want released or adjusted? What do you feel the fair dollar amount is for the penalty, if not um, the 10% per year by statute? Commissioner Rosen, what, 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 well, what you know, I, just, I think it's a matter of fairness. I, I just don't see, you know, for that year charging man, 60% or something. You know, I'm not saying he didn't have some negligence there, but we do too. And I don't care if we do. You know, he might be a big enough operator if this could slid right by him, and that's what he claims happened, and that he didn't catch it. I think most of us could have been what we would have known. And, uh, you know, I, you know, y'all say set precedent. I hope we do set precedent if somebody comes in and they've got a valid concern. I think we should listen to it and adjust it. Same thing for everybody. I don't have that problem. What, what would your motion? What, what well, motion? I mean, let's say the what would be a fair rate. What do you what do you pay at the bank? You don't pay that that rate at the bank. Uh, you know, did he, when in your discussions with him, did he show any uh, concern about paying anything at all, or does he want it all forgiven? The request I've received is um, to all, waive all, all of it. all penalties. What you want your motion to say that to be forgiven? Well, I'm order. just I'm just saying in my mind I'd like for it to be a fair rate to, to reflect an interest rate that you could went to the bank and borrowed the money, uh, or what we charge other people with the delinquent taxes that haven't paid them. We've got people that haven't paid their taxes in ten years or more. Are we charging him more there by doing that than we would them? That's the kind of thing. I want it to be fair, and that's what, what interest freedom would be charged to anybody. If, uh, not using the word penalty, if somebody had not paid their taxes in, in four or five years, what would be to that 2% plus three quarters to Plus apply? three quarters of a percent per year every month thereafter. Um, I think it's the original amount of the tax bill. It doesn't, uh, interest doesn't accumulate on interest. So every citizen, regardless of the amount, or what their work might be is paying for two percent plus three quarters. What does that come up right. to per year? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know if I calculated with me. Around ten percent. Five taxes is about what two to five. You said it starts January fifth. Yes. So that's after five years. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no. The first year it becomes delinquent is two percent, and if you only have two percent the first time, and then it's three fourths percent. Percent thereafter. Yes. Could we not say waive that two percent and just figure it at the three fourths percent? What would that be? That'd be about. Well, that'd be three fourths of a percent per month. By twelve months, yeah. Which is still awful high rate. Could, could that be done in the form of a motion to, to what Commissioner Rope is saying is, first of all, the, the penalty be waived and then the 2% be waived, but he would be required to three quarter percent. But you're I, still talking interest and I, you're I talking think, penalty. I think yeah. to word it to accomplish what you're trying to say would be that you mail. want to reduce the penalty to the same amount 
that it would be if you had computed interest at three-fourths of a percent per month since the bill was incurred. Whatever that works out to be. Well, how does John and, and Tom and Larry feel about that? I mean, they haven't seen anything. Well, I, 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 was, I was curious about the listing part mm -hmm. in them, and that, that was what you said he probably did not get that. Right. And um, there was something, and there wasn't anything with the solid waste, I don't think. No, there was not. Okay. Um, personally, I, I, I really want to be fair on this thing, you know. If we have, uh, I think originally you had said 35%, and then that's been moved down to 20 upon the letter you got from uh, Shaw Brothers, is that right? Um, We're just saying that's more than you think. If you go back to that three quarter a month, every month, uh, that's going to be pretty close to the, and then you do it every year, that's going to be pretty close to the, to the 60% by the time you do that over a six year period. Or one, two, three, four, five year period. For one year, be, for one year it'll be about 9%. Six times nine. That's a compound. That's a lot of That's simple. Yeah. Okay. Um, not too far up. But I think really to look at it, if we had done our job properly and the inspectors went out and did the, you know, their job properly when they reported the construction going along, I'm pretty sure if this guy was notified, he certainly would have paid his bill and we wouldn't be having this discussion anyway. So we're really penalizing him. In a way, what the Commissioner Routen says, our failure as a county to properly assess the property also, because it was in that reevaluation period. And I don't know that it's fair to hold him responsible for that. I mean, there's no question the man wants to pay his taxes. He's already made a substantial payment. Um, you know, the problem I have is with people that don't pay it. Um, uh, so, I can't really see holding them hostage you know, for that. Uh, so I keep coming back to that original. The, the inspector didn't pick up on this, or, or somebody didn't pick up on it. Okay, it he wasn't didn't, not, he didn't not use a space. Well, it wasn't an inspector. It was right. okay. Oh. The revaluation. Re okay. I'm sorry. I'm yes. But it was I mean, still contracted. Apparently, didn't buy the county. And they are field work. It was noted to flag for new construction, but when that paperwork came back to the office, the data entry folks did not flag that for new construction. And what, what I mean by flag for new construction, there's a code that we'll put in if there's construction or if it's something that I need to go out and look at, or like if I go out and it's not 100% complete, I'll flag it so that I check it again the end of the year, the 1st of January, to see the percentage complete. It was not flagged, and so then it didn't come up on the report that I run every year to go back and check. So in essence, we, as a county, never looked at it again. Yeah, there's there's part of it that's ours, so and then the Mr. Collins list. is liable, yes. and we're liable, uh, and, and Mr. Collins is an accountant, so whoever it was, he can take that up as an accountant. But um, uh, we did make a mistake. So I think, really, in all fairness, you know, we should err on the side of the taxpayer. I think that's only fair, and I would be happy to make that in a motion. Now, no, let's we'll understand your motion. Uh, your really, it's to honor Mr. Coleman's request. To to wait until, well, we already did the 20%, but just wait for penalties. So, uh, by your motion, you're saying that since he hasn't paid tax in four or five years, he has no responsibility. I'm saying we have responsibility in it also. As a county, by not catching that in the tax office when it was flagged for that new construction, yes, he probably should have listed, but we have responsibility there too. I think Mr. Roden's on the right track. Well, trying to make it fair. Well, how about this, John? 
could we not say we're 50-50 liable and ask him if he would pay back there? <laughs> I mean, listen, that's, that's, the thing says we've got the right to compromise. I mean, that's statute. To me, that would be, I mean, if we throw around numbers, I think 9% is too high in this situation. I think that if we done that, we would, in essence, be doing a 5%. And that's about what the foreign money at the bank is. Reducing it by half. Well, if we said we was 50-50, and, and I would support that. And in the, the legal terms of compromise, are we able to do that? We could say we're, we're, cut, we're reducing the, the penalty to 50%. Yes, you have the legal right to do that. I'll make that motion. That we do. Well, no, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't recognized his motion. But right. You want to draw your motion or you want the motion to stay on the table? Just let it stay. I, I made it, so let it stay on the table. I'm going to first and second. Then we'll move on. You've heard a motion from, from Commissioner Goodrow to forgive everything. Honor his request, which was waiving the penalties. Is there a second to that motion? Not hearing one, that motion dies for lack of a second. I would recognize Commissioner Rudd if he wants to make a motion. I'll make a motion that we reduce that penalty by 50%. Is there a second to that motion? A second. I have a second to that motion. Other discussion? Not all favor the motion. 